Chaco Culture National Historical Park, known to many as Chaco Canyon, is located just under three hours northwest of Albuquerque off US 550 and Road 7900. In this remote canyon away from much of today's civilization, the ancient Chacoan Pueblo people once thrived. With short growing seasons and long harsh winters, it's somewhat surprising that this site in the San Juan Basin served as a hub for people over 1,000 years ago. Yet the grand scope and style of architecture is undeniable. Chaco was a centerpiece of culture and economic activity in its day, surviving here more than 300 years. The stone structures of Chaco were unlike anything built prior, and the hundreds of rooms and multiple kivas reaching four or five stories high are evidence of an extremely advanced and sophisticated society. In the construction of these buildings, the Chacoan people referenced solar, lunar, and cardinal directions, paralleling celestial alignments. And many buildings were placed within line of sight for the purpose of communication. Every element was engineered with the utmost precision. Not to mention, the mere placement of the site is among sacred mountains, mesas, and shrines for the Pueblo people. For all of these reasons and more, the energy field of Chaco is powerful. There is definitely an inherent mystical and magical quality to be experienced here. Wandering through the narrow passageways and crouching through the low doorways before entering into the expansiveness of the great rooms is something that needs to be experienced firsthand. The solidity of these time-tested structures and the pristine stonework is worthy of our admiration, while the textures revealed through the layers of rock, along with the depth of multiple rooms and doorways, makes for a photographer's paradise. The permanence of these structures draws a stark contrast to their initial use. General consensus is the ancient Puebloans did not inhabit these rooms year-round, but instead came here periodically for public gatherings, trade, and ceremonies, returning later to their permanent homes elsewhere. That said, the emphasis on Chaco's use for ritual and ceremonial purposes is growing, and the sheer numbers of kivas on the premises supports this theory. I have to say it's very humbling to think that I'm standing in the same place that a human did over 1,500 years ago, and using this ceremonial space, the kiva, for their traditions and their, their ceremonies every year, and the fact that we're standing here and it's so well preserved, it's really astounding. And looking over the expansiveness of the ruins within this canyon, I find it even more remarkable Chaco was merely the center of a larger network of pueblos spreading throughout the Four Corners region, with outlier communities and great houses of Chacoan culture reaching all the way into Arizona, Colorado, and Utah, most notably Mesa Verde. Perhaps lesser known, but also impressive, are the Aztec ruins, located along the Animas River in the city of Aztec. Its very name reveals the mistaken notion by white settlers that the ruins were Aztec in origin versus their rightful identity relating to the ancestral Pueblo peoples. And today, there is no room for doubt of the Chacoan influence on this site. The ruins are comprised of multi-story great houses as well as smaller Pueblos and a great kiva, which was reconstructed in 1934 under the direction of Earl H. Morris of New York City's American Museum of Natural History. The West Ruin once had more than 500 rooms centered on an open plaza, many of which still have the original wooden roofs. Walking through these rooms with their roofs intact is an experience I have not had elsewhere, proof that along the trail of the ancients connecting these sites, each location offers a new perspective and a unique experience, altogether impressing upon me the power and magnitude of this part of our state's culture. For those of you more adventuresome and willing to go off the beaten path and in a high clearance vehicle, look into the outlier ruins of Pueblo Pintado and Guadalupe Ruin. And if you make it to the Aztec ruins, be sure and dip into the history at the Aztec Museum and Pioneer Village as well. And do not leave town without trying the amazing Thai cuisine at Tan Tip Cafe on South Main Avenue in Aztec. <laughs>